I'm Kira Morgan. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Coffee with Kira, sponsored by The Human Being in Newport and Lincoln City. And today we are happy to be here in Depot Bay at City Hall with Depot Bay Mayor Kathy Short. Kathy, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for having me here this morning, Kira. Well, Depot Bay has some exciting things going on, and we want to let the world know what's going on here. Um, so first of all, Kathy, tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about being mayor of Depot Bay. Oh, okay, sure. Well, um, I was, um, my first term started in uh, 2021 uh, as elected mayor, and then I was reelected, so I'm into my second term as mayor, and I feel very fortunate and honored to be in this position uh, to help my citizens and help my neighbors and friends. Um, not only do we provide services, but we're getting going on in all kinds of other things to make things better here in the city. So yeah, and I've lived here in Depot Bay full time now for almost 10 years. I've owned my home though for 23 years and uh, have just really enjoyed being a part of this community. Um, before I was on um, elected mayor, I was on city council for four years, so I've been six plus years of service and I've really enjoyed it and we're seeing some really wonderful things happening here especially with our harbor and that is my main main um, joy is being part of that is that we have received funds for um, replacement total replacements of docks two three and four um, we are still waiting to hear as to whether we will have the funds from uh, different sources that we are seeking to finish it. Our estimates from the engineers have come in at one and a half million dollars more than the funds we have available. So we are working very hard on getting that going. And um, so that's, that's our main goal right now is getting our harbor because that is the source of our whole um, city is that harbor. It, it, runs everything from our whales to the fishing to just being on the ocean on a pretty day like today. So. Well, and Depot Bay Harbor is still the world's smallest harbor. World's sm well, we claim that. Um, I, I don't know if it's in the Guinness World uh, Books of Records, but um, we, we've researched it and we, we feel we are the world's smart, smallest harbor. So, But it's also the one in probably the worst condition with our docks 70 plus years old and our pylons are failing and so we are really really searching hard to get all of that repairs done and replaced so that's our main main push at this time and depot bay has an incredible coast guard station here oh my gosh yes the hole in the wall our fellas are just a joy and what a uh, fabulous thing to have them here to not only protect our fishing fellas and, and folks, um, but they're just part of our community and they really uh, step up whenever we need them. So yes, um, we, we really appreciate our Coast Guard. And even though you are a small town um, here on the coast, you have some really great amenities <laughs> for not only your residents, but for visitors, including the parks. Oh yes, our parks are, are, are pretty, I mean, they're small. Uh, we don't have great big parks, but um, we do hold our, like our salmon bake every year. And that is such a fun, fun event to hold down there. And uh, last year we got back together again. And I believe we, I, I'm not, I don't have the figures on the top of my head, but I think we had over a thousand people down there um, just having a good time with the music and eating the salmon and so our main park is, our, is a great joy to, to have. And you have an incredible community center where you just recently oh, yes. held a great event with yes. the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, our, our community center, we held the crab feed there and that was another huge success that was sold out. And um, so, yeah, that, that building is used a lot. And we are so fortunate to have such a, a, an asset in our little town. And what are some other things that um, have been happening recently for Depot Bay? I understand you have some extra patrol to help keep citizens oh, safe. Absolutely. Yes, our, star our sheriff started um, right after the 1st of April. Um, 
Casey Elstrom is on duty before us and he is really making a difference. The traffic is slowing down, people are uh, being a little bit more cautious as they jaywalk around town, so um, he's making a difference. He's patrolling our streets, which is a wonderful asset to have. It's, it's nice to know that he is on site and, and here willing to help us. So. That's, that's been a big, big benefit as well. And then speaking of benefits, you have another big event coming up. Let's talk about this 50-year oh. anniversary. We are on uh, Saturday the 20th from noon to 4. We have uh, Chief Depot and part of his family will be here and celebrating with us. Um, we were incorporated on May 23rd, 1973. And so um, we just thought it would be fun to bring our city together. We're not inviting the whole world to become with us. We just wanted something for our residents to share our history, share some stories, um, and share, you know, just being together again. So yeah, we're, we're really excited about that. And let's talk about some of the things folks can expect to see when they attend and where is it going to be held? At our city park, of course, and we have um, live music scheduled. We also have two food trucks, the Grub Hub and, oh, I'm going to murder the name of the other ones, <laughs> for them all or something like that. Um, they're up at, at um, Salishan. Oh, the um, squat. Squatchami. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Thank you. I knew I told you I'd murder so, anyway, Yeah. We're looking forward to their food as well. We've heard great things about oh, that. So they're wonderful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, the grub house is also really great. Yes, I've had yes. some of their food too. Yes, so yeah, that's too. something to really look forward to. Um, and you said there will be music, but you're also going to have some great guest speakers. Oh, um, sharing stories from our residents and that type of thing. And then we also have uh, things for our children. We have the Neighbors for Kids will be there with face painting, some other activities for them. So I'm really anxious to see them. And then we do have um, a beer garden planned from um, the Horn will be there, so that's going to be fun and all kinds of uh, birthday cake to celebrate with and all kinds of events. So. And what are the hours of the event? Uh, 12 to 4. 12 to 4? Yes. And that's on May 20th at yes. Depot Bay City Park? Yes. And I'm sure there'll be signs and we'll have things posted up on um, our uh, new site as well. Oh, thank uh, you. So folks can find that there. Um, Kathy, let's uh, talk a little bit about your city council. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about your city council? Yes, uh, we have seven members, all voting members of our council. Two members, a Councillor Beasley and Councillor Sovereign, are new to us this year. The rest all are seasoned. <laughs> volunteers for our city, yes, and they have many, many challenges. Uh, we're passing a budget uh, this coming month and that's going to be always lots of, lots of uh, consternation and um, spending public funds is, you know, very crucial to be cautious and we are very cautious. We've always followed our budget very, very closely and so um, they're active in that and they're uh, they're all active in our community, so it's, it's a joy to work with them. Wonderful. And um, are you still accepting any um, volunteers for anything oh, that absolutely. you uh, are working on? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think there's still positions open. We are looking, especially for the Planning Commission, I think there's a couple of positions there, and there's a couple of uh, positions maybe on the Parks Commission as well. Um, so those are always needing extra folks that might want to help out. And you really support uh, the local nonprofits as well as other the other cities do as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Um, and Our food um, bank is very, very yes. important to us. So we highly, highly praise that. And Neighbors for Kids has been an asset for this city for how many years? 17 or 19 years, I think Toby said. So yes, um, having them here is just so crucial to not only the children but the, the families so that they are know that their children are secure while they're working. 
And they do a lot of, I'll just do a little plug because they, <laughs> I personally know that they do a lot to help families and they are very involved with community events uh, as well yes. throughout Depot Bay. Yes. And so we deeply appreciate them. And yes. like you said, the food bank, yes. um, that is a wonderful, wonderful asset for folks in need here in this community. Yes. Uh, so let's see. Oh, and you also work closely with the local Depot Bay Chamber of Commerce. Yes, yes. We've been helping out with their events and, and supporting getting them back and going with all of their activities. So yes, we're working, trying to work together keeping the city going and the city does work closely uh, not only with the chamber but works to help support the local businesses throughout depot bay right well we try i mean we just collect their business licenses <laughs> um but you know our fellows have been downtown this last week just cleaning the streets and cleaning everything up so it looks a little bit better and um so we yeah we do absolutely support all of our businesses and and hope that they prosper and Wonderful. And all the, the tourists for us. And let's see, Kathy, is there anything else we might have missed that you'd like to add as we wrap up? I'm not thinking of anything right now, but... All right, well, thank you so much for joining us oh, on this episode you. of Coffee with Kira. Again, we're sponsored by The Human Being in Newport at 6th Street and Highway 101 and in Lincoln City at the north end of the highway on the west side near TLC Credit Union. For Oregon Coast Breaking News, I'm Kira Morgan.